Hello, my name is Beth Domkowski, and I'm coming to you from the Office of Admissions at Rowan University in Glassboro, New Jersey. Welcome to Rowan Confidential. I am joined today by Chris Lukash. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. We're happy to have you. Uh, Chris is president of AKCG Public Relations Counselors, a national public relations consultancy with deep experience in crisis and issue preparedness. That sounds intense. Uh, As president, Chris heads the AKCG Issues and Crisis Communications Practice. And you are also... A Rowan graduate. And proudly so, yes. Wonderful. How long have you been removed from Rowan? Uh, well, I've been uh, out of school for uh, 15 years this year, which is uh, tricky to believe. But I, I can't say that I've ever removed myself from, from Rowan. It's been a, really an integral part of, of my uh, personal and professional life. I, I met my, my wife and uh, my first boss turned business partner in uh, the same about eight foot stretch of hallway oh on Rowan's goodness. campus. So it's, it's, it's certainly influenced me heavily in all the years that have followed. So what did you study here? I studied uh, public relations. Okay. Which uh, at, at, I remember one of my first public relations classes uh, being around the topic of how to describe what you do to your grandparents uh, at Thanksgiving, uh, okay. being such a sort of a, a tricky and nonspecific topic. Uh, and I don't know that I've ever actually gotten all that good at it. But, uh, you know, Basically, what we do as public relations counselors is uh, subscribe to the notion that reputation is essential for your business to succeed, for you to have a healthy bottom line, for you to have customers, uh, for you to be able to operate. You need to have a strong foundation in reputation. And that's what we work to uh, cultivate, to grow, to protect in times of crisis and uh, to maintain in others. So did you know this is what you wanted to do when you came to Rowan? How did you find public relations? Oh, so, uh, certainly not. I, I, I couldn't say I knew what it was. Um, I, let's say I, I, decl- I came in undeclared with the expectation to study Eng- <coughs> excuse me, English because mm-hmm. that's what my parents studied. And, um, and then I think I was in the, the CAP Center in this very building, and I saw in a book that you could become a concert promoter <laughs> with a degree in public relations. And okay. I said, boy, that sounds like fun. Now, the funny thing about that is, um, my professional career, my trajectory has taken me uh, down a lane where I do some some pretty heavy stuff, mostly a lot of crisis work, uh, and I can do that with a pretty steady hand. But if I'm ever asked to book an event, uh, to make sure the DJ shows up on time, to book a sandwich tray, I have no uh, I have no stomach for it. So it's the the kind of the, the portion of the business that I've lost the nerve for uh, wow. that that eventually led me into it. The part that drew you in is the part that that I, I just I couldn't do. Anymore. And I have yeah. and I have the fondest admiration for those that do and there are many people that do it very, very well. So take me on this journey with you. You came to Rowan, you decided when you were here that you wanted to study public relations. And at at what point in your academic career did you realize that? Was that your freshman year or your sophomore year? I, I think it was my sophomore year that I, I found and it, it really clicked for me when I came in and met with the advisor for the uh, the Public Relations Student Society of America, the, the PRSSA chapter that's here on campus, which, um, which, which I always saw and, and treated as a pretty essential part of, um, of getting a public relations education. Uh, in its association uh, that mirrors a, a professional association for postgraduates, but uh, uh, you know, it was so much about um, learning to apply the in-class techniques right away. Uh, the, the PRSSA chapter here uh, maintained and still maintains its own firm uh, that has its own clients, so you get to uh, test out the techniques in real time. And uh, and and also, it was really prioritized um, building your professional network and, and, and cultivating that network that you would draw upon and continue to draw upon at every stage in your professional career um, right in those first few days of, uh, of your education. So uh, it, was, it was once I got introduced to the outside the classroom uh, aspects of my Rowan education that I, I really became hooked and I think really became uh, energized. I think that's kind of when I, when I hit my stride. Wonderful. Um- So the professional group, you're not actually the first person to come in and talk about that. Mm. Um, That 
seems to be a pivotal thing for a lot of folks who are working now. You got some, you got a lot of professional experience as a student. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how did that inform your creation or management of this company? Well, I mean, interestingly enough, um, from a from a small world perspective, the uh, the person who founded that association um, here on Rowan's campus at the time, Glassboro State, uh, ended up being the person who gave me my first job and who subsequently sold her agency to me and 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 gave me the business that I have today. So I sort of buck the millennial trend by uh, still being in my first job, though I. I own the place, so I, I, I suppose I'll stick around for a little while. Um, but the people that I I met uh, pre-professionally, um, you know, both in the association, uh, not just on Rowan's campus, but we have a lot of interaction with um, people on other campuses, with the Rutgers folks, with Widener, with uh, UD, and so on. Um, they, they've all sort of moved along this path right alongside me, and and uh, the people that I know now professionally, I've known since I was a college student, which is uh, pretty special and pretty remarkable and not necessarily uh, translatable to too, too many fields. I I really had no concept uh, when I came into school how much I could get in terms of building and developing a professional network and how essential that would be to postgraduate success. But I think Rowan really drove that home for me. That's great. And you're back on Rowan's campus, in a sense. Yeah, right on the right on the tip. Um, we've we've always been uh, headquartered in South Jersey, uh, and and proudly so. But uh, when our, our lease came up a few months ago, we we had to look for our new home, and uh, and Glassboro was at sort of the top of our list um, as a, as a, a firm that's fairly young that likes to attract a lot of um, you know young talent and and fresh talent and and highly skilled talent. Uh, we couldn't think of a better place to be than uh, than than so close to campus here, uh, not just f- because of the access to talent that we had, but also because there's just such a remarkable energy to to the boulevard right now. I mean, it, it's it's energizing to just. I mean, we were here from July when it was a little quieter, uh, right through. You know, it's October now, and we're starting to see uh, the year has picked up, and uh, it's 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 like an infusion of. Uh, uh, of energy that we just soak in through the walls. Uh, we're, we're so happy to be here. We're so happy to see uh, what the campus has done, what the university has done, and what it's doing for the for the town of Glassboro. It, it's uh, I, this. This could sound uh, cynical, but I've you know I've mentioned to a lot of people we've been moving down here to to the borough, and um, you know some have said, "Well, what do you want to go to there for?" And once we've brought them here, and they've you know we've shown them around and seen it, they just couldn't believe uh, the transformation that um, this university has experienced in the last few years. It's it's remarkable. It is remarkable. I remember seeing the plans for Rowan Boulevard, and it seemed so far in the future, mm-hmm. like they were going to build this thing, and here it is. It's yeah. here. We have a built a downtown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's great to just. Uh, like I said, just to walk around and soak it in and, and be a part of something. So I have to ask, issue and crisis communication plans. Mm. What what is what is this? Yeah, it, you know, it's that that piece of the of the reputational puzzle where we try to uh, make sure that um, organizations can uh, get out of difficult situations with as much goodwill as they possibly can. Uh, we tend to work for the types of clients for whom uh, their their trust and the, the confidence that the people they serve have in them is is essential to doing business. That's everything from um, you know from hospitals and health systems to senior living organizations to Catholic dioceses to um, uh, to, to chemical producers. We sort of run the gamut of the industries we serve. And the the common thread is that uh, you know to the extent they are facing um, issues or recovering from issues, um, you know, they deserve to have their story told and their point of view represented, and that's what we do. It's very it's very uh, unpredictable work. It's very exciting work, and it's extremely rewarding work because um, you know we're we are not just uh, giving people a stack of um, newspaper clips. We're we're in many ways giving them, I think, I think, peace of mind and reassurance, and uh, setting corrective courses for their businesses. We, we, I, I love the work we do. So I'm a client. I'm seeking you out. Mm-hmm. I have I have an issue. Mm-hmm. Needs to be mitigated. Um, what What does our relationship look like? What What types of things do you help me do? 
Um, well, I mean, the, the first thing we, we ask is, um, you know, are you uh, contrite? Are you um, sincere? Have you taken action to correct whatever is put you in the crisis situation? Uh, if we don't have those pieces in place, we'll, we'll say, thanks, there's not a whole lot we can do for you. I think that's one of the, the, the main lessons I took from, from my Rowan education is that, uh, is that uh, you know, public relations is only as, as good as the person sending the message. Uh, public relations only works when um, we're, we're promoting good work done well. Um, I remember one particular professor saying, it, you know, what it can never do is perfume manure. You know, we can't, we can't make problems go away with with spin. We can't do damage control to make difficult things go away. So we have to, you know, we have to be reassured that uh, we're helping someone that's in a position to be helped. Uh, from there, uh, you know, some of the things we do involve working with media. Some of the things uh, we do involve finding ways for them to connect with the people they serve. Be that in person, be that through social media, be that through video, be that through, uh, you know, we. We also like to set goals for ourselves. We like to measure how we're doing against those goals. You know, we, it's not just throwing spaghetti at the wall. Um, we, we, we try to understand what our position is and see how we can move the dial and see how we can um, help our clients, help them grow, help them strengthen their positions. So what advice would you give a student or the parents of a student who's thinking about going into this field? Well, questions? sure. I mean, it's it's a it, it's a strong field, and mm-hmm. it's um, despite the fact that uh, you know sort of our counterparts in in journalism are, are getting a reputation for uh, uh, you know for for being a, a threatening field to go into. I I don't really buy that, and I certainly don't buy its impact on public relations. Um, you know, the more that things change, the more that people get their news every day from. Facebook and Twitter, um, you know, the more we just have to be on our game, the more we have to look for ways to engage with people meaningfully, to engage with them in person, to engage with them in a way that that resonates. Uh, I just did a presentation this morning for a group of hospital officials, and one of the things we spent a lot of time talking about is um, the shrinking attention spans of consumers. I mean, we uh, Microsoft Research does a study every five years where they've pointed out that since the onset and the, the the rise of Facebook, humans have lost a third of their attention spans. So, um, you know, we have to be even more guarded to uh, to cut through the the muck and cut through the waste and cut through the distraction. And, uh, you know, it's it's a thoughtful field. It's, uh, it's one with a, a sort of a, a firm academic basis. And it's one in which I think there's a lot of opportunity for good, rewarding work. I'm going to ask one more question. What is something that you wish people knew about your field? What's a misconception or something that you feel you need to correct? Um, yeah, I, I think that um, we're too often painted with a brush of um, not being strategic, of, uh, of being something that, that sort of anyone can pick up, um, that anyone can uh, make the leap into from other professions. And you know, in many ways, that's true. Um, but I think there's a really a solid academic discipline behind uh, the practice of public relations, and I think that's something I fortunately entered the field with from my from my Rowan education. I mean, Rowan is uh, is I have no humility in saying is is one of the preeminent public relations programs uh, in the country. Uh, it has the reputation for being as such. Its its PRSSA chapter is. Um, nationally recognized, one of the first has been for a long time, uh, and and um, you know Rowan has the sort of the right mix of putting people out both where they can uh, do the work because they think about practical application, but when they have that good basis and understanding in theory, and I think that's what practitioners need to uh, succeed. So I think it's a it's a great profession to be in. It's one that's uh, rife with opportunity. It's one that uh, you know I've enjoyed working in for as long as I have, and will continue to enjoy working in for a long time. And uh, one that I, I certainly wouldn't try to talk people out of. Chris, thank you so much for coming in today. Um, I've enjoyed our conversation very much. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day. And uh, we hope to see you again. It's my pleasure. Thanks mm-hmm. for having me. This has been Rowan Confidential. Mm-hmm.